yeah, 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 off work, we at it again. Do you know what happens? You know what happens when a super superstar comes into a team that is trying to come on the come up? You know, you know what happens when you know you draft a guy like Dennis Smith Jr. from the Dallas Mavericks who appeared to be a steal, a superstar in the draft, but just doesn't quite fit in with the new super duper super duper star that you have. Do you know what happens? Okay. This is what happens. I think that GMs make irrational decisions thinking that they have the best fit for the team for the future. Okay? And they start making moves that coincidentally may not be in the best interest of anyone. Of anyone. In all, as far as the team and the future trajectory of that team's progression. And the Dallas Mavericks at this point in time are rumoring to want to trade, in my opinion, the rookie of the year, Dennis Smith Jr. from the Dallas Mavericks. A high flying, game changing prospect on the level of Steve Francis with a little bit with a little bit of Westbrook in him doesn't have quite the strength as Westbrook when he forcefully goes down the lane but de- definitely a Stevie franchise comes in to mention with his explosiveness can pass is an okay shooter that's where he's losing he needs to work on his shooting uh, but it's sporadic and may have poor decision making. But what point guard doesn't have that when they first come in the league? Okay? Only only guy I think of who's really not a point guard and who ran free was Allen Iverson. Only Allen Iverson ran free like that. So for for the Dallas Mavericks to consider trading a guy who, who you would only trade if you saw some injury tendencies, which he does have in the league, and I haven't seen it. I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense to me, and I think Luka Doncic owes himself another superstar to play with in his future. To let Dennis Smith Jr. go and not tank for some good draft picks is probably the dumbest move that the Mavericks have made. Hence why why I understand why they do it. Why do they do it? They got DeAndre Jordan to pay them big bucks. They have um, Wesley Matthews. He was paid big bucks a couple years. They have Harrison Barnes. So in the Dallas Mavericks, Mavericks mind, we should be reloading. I mean, this is, this is not a uh, poor man's recovery. We should be reloading. We don't need to pick our way through the draft. We just buy players. Well, in my opinion, those players that you just bought are the exact guys that you need to replace. DeAndre Jordan is an exceptional defensive player, but offensively in this league, he leaves a lot to want. And with the emergence, I forgot to do my video, European Invasion, the centers from Europe that are taking over the league, you know, Nurkic, Vujacic, Pujacic, Tujacic, Hujacic, you know, all those guys, you know, it's a problem for a center not to be able to shoot. Defensively, as far as staying ground and being able to guard his people, he does okay, but I think those European players do the same job without the block shots. They can stay in front of their man, keep their hands up, Give him a tough run into the post. I appreciate DeAndre Jordan's intensity, but hey, Mavericks, he's the guy you should be looking at to make some moves for, maybe for a younger center, maybe for a view of view a check from the Orlando Magic. Next player, Harrison Barnes, paid him the big bucks, came over from Golden State. He's actually having a good year. 19 points a game. With that team, not bad. He's still a leading scorer for the team. Is Luka Doncic going to take his place? I 
I think so, but Harrison Barnes as well is still young. My opinion, I like the nucleus of DJS, Dennis Jr. Smith, and Doncic, and Harrison Barnes as your three. You got potential three all-stars there. The help is needed on the back end. You got Dwight Powell on the bench. All right, you got Dwight Powell doing some work on the bench. I like him. I like his intensity. You got um, Finney coming off the bench. A defensive money guy should only get in five to ten minutes. The bench is where you need help. The power forward and center positions are where you need to upgrade. Okay? That's where you need to upgrade. The Dennis Smith Jr. move, the trade for him, is more than likely because of the progression of Jalen Brunson, who I think can be an outstanding point guard in the interim if you have stars around him. So I think the play is uh, we can trade Dennis, move Jalen into the point guard slot. He's taller, longer, and able to defend. He can shoot. He's steady. Luca will be our primary ball handler, and then we'll figure it out from there. But the problem is you're letting go of a potential all-star. See, Jalen Brunson is a, a good player, you know. He's a he's a Michael Carter Williams, well, you know, at his best, his first year. Remember, Michael Carter Williams had an exceptional first year. He's playing for the Rockets, but he's not getting any burn. I don't know why. You know, he's one of those type of guys. Um, great, good player to make the NBA, but does he have all-star potential? It would have to be a really down year, a lot of injuries, and, you know, one year that he goes off. I don't think he's that caliber of player. Dennis, is, Dennis Smith Jr. oozes all-star potential. Oozes. You can see it. When he puts it all together, he's a top 10 point guard in the league because there's so many. You're going top 10, but there's so many. Do Go down the list, you'll start to find there's a lot of point guards. He's a top 10 point guard, which is exceptional in this guard-heavy league, Okay. You don't trade that guy. You don't trade that guy. You try to every you trade everybody else but Dennis Smith Jr. and Doncic, and you figure out how to work around those two. You got two all stars. You're gonna need it. If you don't have two plus all stars in this league, you are not gonna make it. So my rant is about this talk of trading Dennis Smith Jr., which I think is ludicrous. And the fact that him and Luka can't play together is also ludicrous. If the Golden State Warriors can play together with three guys that can potentially average 40 points a game, don't tell me anything about the Mavericks not being able to have two primary ball handlers on the team um, that could lead them to the championship. They really do need to see, look at their power forward center position. If you can upgrade Barnes from a, to a Durant or somebody like that, that's the move you make. I like Luca at the guard position, guard forward. He can swing around and play where he wants to play. Um, peace out on this ride. I'm just talking about the Mavericks. You know, when you got a super, superstar, you sometimes think you're making the best move when your best move may be your worst move. Better think about it, folks. I'm out.